Hello everybody, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day. Before we get started, hi, my name is Teresa and I welcome you all to my channel. If you're new here and you like Ipsy Unbaggings, you like Ipsy Mystery Bags, you like Walmart Unboxings, you like getting ready with me, I even do makeup try-ons on here. I do a show that it's called Let's Talk About It, where I talk about everything and anything. I do Tongue Twister Thursday, I do Fun Fact Friday, I do Monday Mask Ladies Collab. And I do animal and nature clips, and I sometimes do giveaways on here, which I have an active giveaway going on for a 200 subscriber. It'll be loca located down here in the description box. All you have to do, if you want an entry into that, hit the link, and all you have to do is share, like, watch the video all the way through, and make sure you follow the rules. Simple as that. So if you would like to join, please go check out that giveaway. It does end on May 5th at 11.59 p.m., and I will be doing the drawing on May 6th. In the morning Woo! so if you want to do that please go ahead down here in the description box and do so love to see you guys there so today guys is there's something strange and it don't look good who are you gonna call ghostbusters an invisible man sleeping in your bed ow who are you gonna call ghostbusters Boston makes me feel good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am in a mood. I'm in a good mood today. Today is getting ready with me and scary ghost stories part five. I hope you guys are excited because I know I am. There are um, a couple of mild ones and kind of running out of thinking what stories my family have told me. So I have so much going through my head. You know, when you get older, you just don't remember all the time. So what I did is I went on Amazon. I have to say it slow because we call Lexus, whatever her name is, Alexa. We call her Amazon and she'll pop on every time we say that. So it's like, ugh. we had her one time called computer from Star Trek. We'd be like, computer. And then they started watching Char Star, Star Trek. And <laughs> they kept saying computer because she's right there by the TV. And she'd pop on. So we had to keep changing her name. So, yeah, she's the Amazon word. But anyways, um, she heard me. Did you hear that? Um, <laughs> I went ahead and I bought a um, True Scary uh, West Virginia Ghost Stories um, from from Amazon and uh, stop. Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. See what I mean? Anyways, um, what I'm going to do is tell you some scary ghost stories, read them to you out of this book while I'm putting makeup on. Challenge for me! Yay! I love challenges, and I guess I'm challenging myself. I mean, I mean, who really reads a book and try to put makeup on? this nut right here <laughs> so before we get started i'm using this yummy looking palette right here is a bunch of cookies really really pretty too makes me hungry no, i'm just joking <laughs> and these are the colors right here and i'm going to be going adventurous i don't know might be red blue purple green i might be using them all who knows i am going to be going out of my comfort zone and you'll be seeing this look for seven times in a row so before we get started, I'm going to use this right here, the butter right here, and I'm just going to do an all over the look, all over the look, all over the lid <laughs> cover. So let's go ahead and get started. So this actually happened um, in, at our farm. Like I said, it was the Underground Railroad. It was part of that history. It was built in the 1800s. And, uh, this actually happened during the day with me and my grandma, and um, we were doing laundry, okay? Let me tell you about our, because we were very, very poor. So on our back porch, we had this old washing machine, washing machine, and it had the roller on top. I don't know if most of you guys know what that is, but we didn't have like one of those fancy uh, washing machines. We had the ones that actually, you started it, and it would go, <gasps> <laughs> you know, it's all bouncing everywhere. I swear it was going to bounce off the uh, back porch or whatever, I mean, or into the woods. This thing was crazy. But anyways, I had to tell you about that part because 
<laughs> we had some crazy stuff as kids, okay? As our, our adult parents, you know, adult parents. Our parents were just, yeah, we were just a little out there. Okay, maybe I still am. But anyways, back to the story. Me and my grandma, we, we hung our clothes outside. We didn't have a dryer, so we hung our clothes outside. And she was facing the wooded area, and I was facing the wooded area, too. And we were sitting there and chit-chatting. My grandma is a very religious woman. We are Pentecostal on her side of the family. And we were talking about God and everything. And uh, I guess she happened to look up and she saw something. She didn't tell me this um, for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And uh, let me get my next brush here. Let's see, is it you? Nope. Yes, it is that brush. We use this brush right here. And in the crease of my eye here, let's do... Let's do red here. I'm sorry if you hear my dog and cat fighting. Hold on one second, guys. Anyways, um, as I was saying, in the crease of my eye right here, I'm going to be using this red velvet. Yes, I'm going to be adventurous, like I said. So, in the crease, and let's continue with the story. So, after 20 minutes go by, um, my grandma looks down at me and she goes, Teresa, I go, yeah, grandma. She goes, did you see that in the woods? I was like, mm, no, what are you talking about? And, uh... She's like, I saw something. I was like, what did you see? You know? Um, she goes, I seen a little black figure of a boy running through the woods. Freaked me out because the only boy that's really there is my younger brother. And he was upstairs playing in his bedroom. And I was helping my grandma with laundry. And there was no little boy in the wooded area. So she saw an apprehension of a, um, a black figured of a, or a silhouette of a boy running around in the woods. And she says she saw for like a brief second and then it just disappeared. And, and she thought maybe I caught it and I, I didn't catch it. So yeah. Creepy, right? <laughs> oh yes that house I'll tell you what that house was something else I hated that house although I dream about that house sometimes because I guess where I grew up in it and everything that had happened not only ghosts but everything else and um I dream about that house and I don't have no inkling as to why I dream about it but I do all right so before well, that is some red eyeshadow, guys. Looks kind of pink on film, but. Oh, oh, I hope this is going to turn out good. So what, what am I going to do on the bottom? What should be used with this? On the bottom. I'm going to use this green right here. Yes. I'm going to use, I'm going to have green and red. <laughs> I'm going to use the green right down here. Okay. So next story. This also took um, place in, um, at the same house, but this was in the summertime and, um, it was late at night. I don't know how late it was, but we had family over and we were having a bonfire a bomb fire where we were grilling out hot dogs and stuff like that and just having a good old family time okay and us kids running around playing um you ever played hide and seek in, in the dark time or tag or something it was always fun when we had our cousins come over and we'd play that and everything um my sister and my one cousin, they were older than me. They wanted to walk up our road area. So, the road that goes out to get us out of the country, 
you first have to go through this wooded area. So you go up this little hill and it's nothing but trees everywhere. It's just woods. Everywhere is woods. And then probably within, I can't remember, like 10 minutes going through this tree area. Then you finally go out and there's like a bunch of houses down that way because we were the only house at the end. And uh, her and my cousin were like, okay, well, we're just going to go take a walk. And they ended up walking on that road where those trees were at pitch black, no flashlight. I guess just by moonlight they were um, walking, I guess. Kid you not, 20 minutes after they started walking, both of them ran back to the house. Ran back to the house, screaming their head off. Like, something had happened. Like, somebody was trying to kidnap them or something. I don't know. And they were just so freaked out. They were pale. They were white, guys. Both of them at the same time. My parents are like, what is going on? What is wrong? What is wrong? You know? And uh, my sister goes, well, we decided we were going to take a walk you know, up the road where the wooded area is. And they, and she said, you know, we were talking and then, you know, there was a silent part and we were just walking and all of a sudden you heard people, you could hear people. I don't know if it was an army or something. I don't know, but you could hear like four or five people just running through the woods. It was not a deer because we know what a deer sound like. It sounded like somebody or people just running back and forth and you could and she could hear voices they both could hear voices and everything and freaked the girls out and they ran back home and yeah they they, they had enough for that walk so i don't know if anything else has happened in that house i just know it was part of the uh, railroad history under the uh, underground railroad history i don't know it could have been a battlefield because People were starting to hear things in the woods. It wasn't just in the house. It was outside, too. It's creepy. You know what I mean? Just, the house always gave me the heebie-jeebies. Like, at night, um, what am I going to do on top? Hmm. You do up here. Be a little bit of interest, Teresa. <laughs> Um, this gold right here, I'm just going to put it just up here just to give me a little bit of a shimmer. But anyways, you know, at night during the winter time, I, you know, seen a couple of ghosts, but, um, at night time, my bedroom was up over, or was it my mom and dad's bedroom? I can't remember, but, oh. Uh, up in the, um, cause we slept in the living room when it was cold. We slept downstairs as a family. And, uh, I kid you not, you could hear things moving upstairs. Like, just objects moving across the floor and everything. And you know that there's nobody else up in, you know, up there. Because everybody's downstairs sleeping. And, uh. But yeah, I would hear, um, like, I had this old high chair. I don't know where my dad found it. It was an old high chair. And I could hear it just going across the floor, just, you know, creak, you know, that noise. Sorry about my dog. But you could hear it going across the floor and everything. And it was, it was scary, you know. I just, I did not like that house. It was just something about that house I did not like. And I know other people didn't like it either. And, <sighs> you know, you try telling these stories to other people who are non-believers. And they just think you're crazy or they don't want to believe it. They think you're lying and, and all that. And you're just like, you have to believe me. I mean, you know, you watched all these little ghost stories and everything on TV and, you know, and there's just a lot of non-believers out there. I'm just like, you know, 
what I hear and what I saw is what I heard and what I saw. I mean, I'm going to do this, this down here in the middle of my eye. More glitter. Or shimmer. Yes, it's red. Or purple. <laughs> um, I'll have one more for you when I come back. I'm going to actually put you on. On pause, it'll only be a half a second for you, but it'll probably be like 20 minutes for me. So I'm going to go ahead and And put the rest of my makeup on so it don't look too crazy. How's that look? Look good. A lot of colors there, guys. <laughs> All right. I will be right back. See ya. Because Bustin' makes me feel good. Hi, everybody. I am back. I got my um, highlighter on and my uh, foundation and my primer and a, a mascara and eyeliner and I touched up my eyes a little bit. How did they turn out? Did they turn out good? Are they nice? It's a little funky because I never wear red. <laughs> never wear. I've never wore red eyeshadow. So, guys, before we end here, I don't know if I told you um, about the picture that my sister took, but I don't think I did. So, this was late at night, okay? And you know how we have those wooden steps. You go up those little creaky wooden steps. My, me and my brother, he used to like um, going down the steps on his stomach. I'm like, you're crazy. I tried to do it, and I was like, ah, I'm going to die. So, I didn't, never did it. But anyways, these creepy steps. So, you go up those steps. And here's my sister's creepy room. And then there's a little hallway right down here. <laughs> Don't mind my finger. I got, uh, yeah, I got eyeliner on <laughs> my nails. But anyways, there's a little, um, hallway right here. And then over here is my brother's room. Okay. Now, we're not going to go to my brother's room. So we, at the end of this hallway, there is this big bay window that's there. So, my sister loved her little Polaroid camera. Back then, it's Polaroid cameras that you had to get developed at a store. Um, she went ahead and she took a picture of that window. I'm not sure why. She just wanted, she was taking pictures everywhere and she wanted to take a picture of that, of that window. Well, um, eventually my parents went ahead and got all her, uh, film developed and everything and we were going through all the different pictures you know with her friends and everything and we happened to come by the window when my sister did okay kid you not it's dark out and everything I don't know maybe the window needed cleaned I don't know but if you look in the window in this hallway late at night it's dark you can see a man you can see a woman and you can see the woman holding a baby. And right behind him, it looks like there's a lion or something right behind it. Kid you not, I've seen that picture. Everybody's seen that picture, and everybody will tell you the same thing they saw in that window. But I don't know, maybe it was a dirty window. But the picture disappeared. We don't know where this picture went to. My sister had it for so long that we were wondering where it went to. Couldn't find it. So it was a very, very interesting uh, um, window. And then in my well, my brother's room, I don't know, I probably told you guys this too, but um, a couple of nights you could hear a crying baby in there. I don't know if a baby passed away in that room, but you could hear a crying baby and we don't have babies in the house or anything. Yeah, that was pretty creepy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my stories. I know they were kind of short and kind of bland this time. But, like I said, I have bought a, um, a book about West Virginia Ghost. And I hope you guys are interested in hearing about the West Virginia Ghost. If there is any other state or any ghost story books that you would like me to purchase, leave me a comment down here below and let me know. And I'll go get that book and I will read about your state. I will. Because every, everywhere you go, it don't matter 
all across this country in different countries there are spirits there are spirits in this world they're all over the place um there's good and there's evil and i believe that and it's just a uh, a supernatural thing that most people do believe in it but there's some people who do not and they think you're crazy and everything i've had people tell me that but then i had people like oh my gosh that's so exciting i saw this and this and this and I love listening to the stories. I do. And to share my family's experiences and my little bit of experiences, I had fun at doing that. So now I'm going to do a little bit different. And I'm going to read from the book and put makeup on. Woo! Woo! We'll see how that goes, right? <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end here. I hope you guys had a great day. And I hope you guys got a little scared. Black little figures running through the woods. Ooh! you know <laughs> and i hope everybody stays blessed and i hope everybody stays safe no matter where you go and i hope everybody is staying warm because i know some places are having snow or did have snow in really cold temperatures and we ended up getting the cold temperatures all right and i will see you all in my next video thank you for stopping by and you have a great day bye don't watch this at night bye